Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Hart, and uh, today I'm going to be looking at my Nintendo handheld console collection. So anything ranging from Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and DS and 3DS. So uh, as you can see, it started off with brain training. Uh, so basically, there was little puzzles that you could use to train your brain. Uh, not quite sure it worked for me, if I'm to be honest. Next up. Sonic Rush, everybody knows Sonic, but now nah, he's on the Nintendo D, uh, DS where they use the two screens. So uh, when you did a big loop loop, we go from one screen to the other screen. Uh, if you haven't played Sonic Rush, I recommend it. It's uh, definitely one of the best Sonic games out on uh, the consoles. Next is uh, Pokemon Ranger, uh, which was very much different than the other Pokemon games as you went around and when you went to capture Pokemon you had to draw circles using the stylus uh, as we can see just here and that's how you uh, captured Pokemon I don't think you capture a lot of Pokemon I can't quite remember it's been a few years since I played this one but uh, I remember it being fun I think it's had a couple of sequels but other than that I think it's dead now speaking of Pokemon Pokemon Pearl version, so if you know Pokemon, yeah, it's just the next in line. Um, I think this was the turning point before they started to go a bit downhill. At least in my opinion, anyway, I'm not a huge fan of the games uh, today. I think some of the Pokemon just look ridiculously stupid, like a garbage bag or an ice cream cone or a chandelier or even a uh, key ring with a set of keys, so... Ruben Auto, that was an interesting game. Uh, so the way you completed the levels were you could write down anything and uh, it would pop into existence. So as you can see, uh, you could do a dinosaur, bikes and anything. And uh, you had to use your imagination to decide what would uh, solve the level. Uh, pretty much you could just cheat half the time anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun game. Uh, I think you can get it for the PC now. So if you haven't played it, it's worth checking out. You can pick it up cheaply. Sonic Chronicles is an RPG this time round uh, for Sonic, and it's actually one of the better RPGs uh, for the DS. If you didn't think Sonic would go well with an RPG, well, this proves you wrong. So it's actually done by BioWare. Remember those people who made good games like uh, Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Anthem? Uh, you haven't played it? You like RPGs? Pick this one up. Another RPG of great quality, Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. There, if you don't know, Dragon Quest is a series of games by uh, Square Enix. If you haven't played this DS version, I suggest going to check it out. It's very good. Pokemon, but for the 3DS this time. So uh, this is Pokemon X. I don't have Y. Well, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it's Pokemon. Can I say? Can I say that you don't already know? Uh, this is Professor Layton and the Curious Village, and this was a series of games where you went through the story and you had to solve little puzzles and everything. It's a very fun game. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend going to check this one out. And it also did a animated movie, which was it was all right. It was fine. Next is the uh, demo for. Metro Prime Hunters First Hunt. So this was like a first person uh, shooter for the Nintendo DS, uh, which had a Metroid cover. Um, before it controlled well, I don't have the full game, but I have the demo. I can't remember how I got the demo. I think it just came with the Nintendo DS, if I remember rightly. Uh, next up is uh, something 3D. A Ridge Racer 3D. Yeah. Don't know why I, I blanked at that. I know there's a sticker over it, but it's Ridge Racer 3D. Uh, one of my favourite uh, arcade racers, uh, which came out on the PlayStation originally. Uh, but obviously in hand to form. Runs well. Very nice. Uh, a bit of Might and Magic. Clash of Heroes. So this wasn't turn based as normal Might and Magic is. Trying to think if it's actually turn based usually now. Don't know. Uh, but instead, you had a match. It was a puzzle matching thing, and you got more attack points or something like that. 
And then you can defeat the enemy which are on the top screen, if I remember rightly. Excuse me. Uh, I've had great fun with this game, to be honest. I can't remember much. My memory's gone. One of the best games to come out on the N64. Finally came to 3D. Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, yeah, if you don't know Salda, you basically play as Link. And you go around Hyrule doing dungeons and defeating bosses, basically. Uh, to save Princess Salda and the Triforce. And of course, like I say, Ocarina of Time, um, most probably one of the best Zelda games ever. Uh, if you've never played it, go and pick it up. It's well worth it. Also, go and pick up Majora's Mask while you're at it. I don't actually have it, but I have played it. So, uh, a fighting game, Dead or Alive. Uh, if you know the Dead or Alive series, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm not into fighting games, but it was five quid. So, uh, pick that up. A classic shooter. Uh, Star Fox 64 3D. Uh, so you don't know Star Fox is an on-rail shooter where you play as Fox McClown and you go through certain levels. Fun game, can't complain, nice and simple. It's a 64 version, uh, which was much probably the best one, to be honest. Castlevania. Lord of Shadows, Mirror of Fate. So this was kind of a reboot for Konami. Uh, there was three games in this series. There was two on the main consoles and this one uh, on the handhelds uh, so it's a side scrolling platform which tried to be Castlevania but wasn't and it wasn't very good enough said of that Need Speed Underground 2 yeah just the racing version on the handheld it's fine for all it was uh, nothing too spectacular uh, tis what it is tis what it is Got so many to go through. All right, Smash Brothers for the 3DS. Everybody knows what Smash Brothers is, but now you can take it on. Uh, now you can take it around with you. Uh, yeah, I don't need to explain it much. It's a very fun game. Works very well. Buy it if you haven't. Uh, Pokemon Black. Uh, yeah, Pokemon again. So, much more Pokemon. Ah, another good RPG. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh, so there was three or four of these games on the handheld sort of things. Uh, so yeah, you played as Mario and Luigi. It's an RPG. So if you like the RPG versions of Mario, uh, I recommend this is quite a good one. So pick it up if you haven't. Uh, my first game for the... Well, not the first game for the Game Boy. That's a bit of a lie. Pokemon Red. Oh, no. Wait, this isn't the one I was... Uh... This is uh, the remake of Red. I do have Red. Where is Red? Uh, it's hiding somewhere. Give me a second. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah. Am I over here, sir? That's my original Red. I knew I had it somewhere. It was hiding in a case. Uh, so yeah, Fire Red. It's the remake of this one. Um... Can't complain. I think uh, the early versions of Pokemon are some of the best. Uh, definitely well worth your time if you've never played it. I don't know where the box was for my original. Another classic from the SNES era. Zelda, a link to the past with the uh, four swords. So, link to the past came out on the SNES. Very good game. This one includes a multiplayer called Four Swords where you hooked up your GBAs and you could play with friends. Very much fun. Another Metroid game now. This is Fusion. So this goes back to the classic 2D side scrolling. Side platforming. It's not going to stand up, is it? And it is one of the best Metroids. It's up there. Very good. Uh, a first person shooter now for the handheld. X versus server. Um, so yeah, first person shooters don't quite works so well on the uh, see some of that will it focus uh, there we go as you can see uh, graphics don't look too bad for uh, GBA uh, first person just don't work there was also a Duke Nukem out as well Naruto Ninja Council so it was a Naruto game very hard uh, platformer type game uh, animations are all very nice. Uh, I don't think I got very far in it, but I enjoy Naruto the anime. 
classic platformer. Super Mario Bros. You know what that is. I don't need to explain. Castlevania, Dawn of Sorrow. Definitely one of the best Castlevanias in the series. Uh, it follows on from two GBA games, if I remember rightly. And I think there was maybe one or two after this one or before. Somewhere. There are three, I think, for the DS. If you haven't played these set, set of games on the handout, I recommend going to get them. I think they released a collection for the latest consoles, if I remember rightly. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't played this, good old Castlevania fun. Right, one of my favourite series of all time, Akami. So this is the sequel to Akami, um, starring the offspring of Amaratsu. If I pronounced that correctly, I most probably didn't. Um, yeah, so if you like the first Akami, this is basically an RPG. Uh, you go around with the stylus to attack enemies, which is your paintbrush. Very much enjoyable game. I highly recommend that one. All right, so if you like your turn to uh, turn-based strategy games, uh, this one I do recommend. Pokemon Conquest. So basically, it's taking two games and mash them together to create this. Uh, so it's like Fire Emblem with Pokemon. I can't remember what the other game is. Uh, what's on the back here? No, it will not. Yeah, I uh, can't remember what. What is it? Was it Dynasty Warriors? That doesn't sound right. right. I can't remember. Oh, I'll go and look it up later. It's probably all awesome. uh, sound Not overly bothered, but if you like your turn-based tactics with a bit of Pokemon, get that. Razor, which uh, everybody should know. Mario Kart 7. Uh, the best handheld version of this. Uh, yeah, if you haven't played it, you're missing out. One of the best RPGs yet again. Chrono Trigger. Uh, this, so this was originally released on the SNES. It's an all-time classic. Uh, if you haven't played it, why not? I recommend you go out there and go and get it. And travel to all different... Oh, I say all different types of uh, universes. I think there's more. Past, present, future. I don't know. Uh, Game Boy uh, Fance. Rogue Spear. So this is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. Uh, from what I remember, it was fine. You played as a guy, you went around killing other people. It was just fine, to be honest. Nothing too interesting. So, another puzzle game where it's a match three colours to make them all disappear. Puzzles and Dragons said, and Puzzle Dragon Super Mario Edition. So, yeah, this is just basically match three colours on the uh, screen. Gives you attack power and you attack the enemies, basically. Fun, simple games. Pretty much can't go wrong with those. So this is a uh, music extravaganza. So this is, if I say this right, uh, Frit Riven Final Fantasy Curtain Call. So basically they took song from Final Fantasy and made it into a game where you had to drag the stylus along the screen and tap to keep in time with the music. It's a very fun game. Uh, well worth playing if you like your music rhythm games and stuff. Uh, one of the most, I wouldn't say controversial, but not well liked as such, uh, Final Fantasy Rings of Fate. So this is part of the Crystal Chronicle series, which started on the GameCube. I think there's only been three games in total. Um, but this was more of a multiplayer. You could play the single player, but it's more of a multiplayer game where you just went around in an isometric view. Uh, defeat some enemies and all that. It was a very simple game. I remember having fun with it. But like I say, all these games, it's been a long time uh, since I've played them. Apart from Trackmania, because I have played it recently, but on the PC. So, I think in this version, there are four different cars to you from F1 car, there's like uh, off road cars, and sports cars, and something else I can't remember. We just go around stupidly created tracks um, at high speeds. Very fun trying to get the highest score you can possibly get. I recommend that if you like your driving games. Uh, so, uh, more classic RPGs. Final Fantasy 3. Uh, so, more Final Fantasy. It's a turn-based RPG. 
Uh, this was a remake, so as you can see, uh, some of the characters and stuff are all in 3D now. Rather than 2D sprites. You're not going to focus, are you? So, yeah, you should know Final Fantasy. Nice and easy. Another code. Uh, two memories, memories doubles. Terrible title, but it was a good game. It was a very short game, uh, from what I remember. So you were this girl, and you went somewhere, and <laughs> you solved some puzzles, basically. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, one of the puzzles on this was you had to get a stamp. So you got the stamp, and it would be on the top screen, and you had the paper on the bottom screen. So you had to close the DS, and then open it again to stamp it. So I uh, had a few good ideas. I think there was a sequel to that. Uh, another turn-based game, if you like those type of thing. Project Cross Zone. So basically, Bandai Namco took all their characters and put them in a turn base. So as you can see on the screen there, you got like Dante, Ryu, uh, Jin from Tekken, uh, Jill Valentine, the Resident Evil 5 version. Uh, you got the kid from Dot Hack, I can't remember his name, Mega Man at the top there, uh, the person from Channel 5, and a couple of others that I do not know the names of. But there was a load more characters in there. I think Chris Redfield turns up as well and stuff. Uh, but if you like crossovers and tactical fighters, uh, yeah, tactical fighters, mm, yeah, uh, I'll stick with that now, screw it, uh, I recommend going to get it, very fun, very fun, I keep saying very fun, I should change my words up, uh, another classic RPG again, as you can see I do collect a few RPGs, uh, Shining Soul for the Game Boy Advance, so this came out on the... Mega Drive? I want to see Mega Drive. Did it come first out on the Master System? No, I think it only came out on the Mega Drive, if I remember rightly. So yeah, I think it's just straight port to the Game Boy Advance. Fun, fun RPG. Uh, another series which I do enjoy, and that's the, uh, I mentioned before, Kingdom Hearts. So this is 358 slash 2 days, uh, where it just adds more complicated story to the plot of Kingdom Hearts. Um, I think this one's alright. The sequel, which I can't think off the top of my head, is a better one. But it was fine. We're on the go stuff. Can't complain. Some more tactics now. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. So, yeah, Final Fantasy. Uh, this is the first tactic game they made. The only one. Do they have a sequel? Can't fully remember. Uh, Baby like tactic games. Definitely recommend the Final Fantasy one. Another Zelda for the handheld. I think it's falling over. Hopefully not. So, Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS. Uh, one of the first 3D Zeldas to come out. Uh, actually, it was the first 3D Zelda to come out. I do not have Spirit Tracks, which was the sequel to this one. So yeah, more Zelda fun. Go around dungeons. You get a boat. Go around the ocean. As IGN says, too much water. So, if you wanted a pet dog, but you couldn't afford one, or your parents wouldn't let you have one, you would buy Nintendo Dogs. Uh, so, this is the Dash Hound and Friends version. And it comes with... Uh, I think this one comes with Huskies, if I remember rightly. It does Huskies, Labradors, French Bulldog, some Beagle, and some gals. Uh, so yeah, if you wanted a pet dog, you could take it for warts, give it treats, feed it, um, stroke fur and all that. Uh, yeah, basically it. <laughs> Nothing too uh, complicated there. So on to a puzzle game. Now uh, we have... Well, I wasn't recording then. I nearly panicked. It's gone 20 minutes so far and I was like... Did I... Anyway, a puzzle game. Valerium. Uh, this is this one come with my DS? I can't remember. Uh, but basically, you had to change the color of the squares to match up, and they would disappear. Yeah. You had to fill in the blanks, and everything would disappear. But you had to do it in like one line. Uh, very fun game. Nice and easy. One of those nice, simple, easy ones. More Pokemon, but this is white version two. Uh, as you can see, I don't usually get whatever version come out, so Black version 2 would have been the companion to this one. 
Uh, but I don't usually do that. Uh, my brother had Pokemon Yellow. But that was about it. Uh, so yeah, more Pokemon. White 2, it's fine. Yeah, it is. Right, so this is a nice little action game. Solar to Robo. But I believe this is quite hard to get hold of nowadays. Um, especially with everything inside. Uh, all the instruction manual. I know there's no game inside. That's with my uh, DS and my DS is up on the shelf and all the games are in there. Uh, but if you like actions RPGs, uh, I recommend getting this one. It's fun. Uh, you go around a little 3D world and you fight in your robot shell, which you can be just here. Very enjoyable, that one was, definitely. Uh, another anime, Full Metal Alchemist, Jewel Sympathy. Uh, this is a, yeah, basically a hack and slash, but with Full Metal Alchemist. If you haven't watched the anime, go and watch Brotherhood, I recommend. I think that's the better of the two. Uh, there are two animes following the same story, but the first anime got so far ahead of the book, they completely made up their own ending, whereas Brotherhood follows the whole story to the end. Um, yeah, just simple fun. Fun of action there. Super Mario 64, everybody knows should know what this is. From the N64, it was just converted onto the DS. Fun platform, can't complain. Pokemon Ruby. Another classic uh, RPG, Golden Sun. Uh, this is from Camelot, I think. Camelot? Yeah, it's Camelot. Uh, if you like your RPGs, do not miss out on this one. Uh, the combat system is very fun in this one. Uh, I recommend, highly recommend. So try not to go into too much detail. I don't want this video to go on for forever. More Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memory. So this time, uh, if I remember rightly, from Kingdom Hearts 1, this follows on from. So Sora is asleep. Um, yeah, I know, it's a complicated plot line in the, the actual main game. And you go around different levels and you use cards to battle. Not like Yu-Gi-Oh or anything, it's more like... Um... Oh, what's that dungeon one? Oh, come on. I'm going to give up there. Tony Hawk's American Skateland. If you like Tony Hawk, you can take it on the go. Uh, this is one of the better ones. <laughs> yep. And I think this one is the better ones. Because the next one I'm looking at is... Proving Round. Uh, which I think this is also a fine game, if I remember rightly. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long while. Right. Last three. The Adventures of Link. The... Um, sequel to The Legend of Zelda which I have here so these were NES classics which were just put onto the uh, Game Boy Game Boy Advance so if you never played them is it worth your time only go and play them if you're really into classic games uh, otherwise I wouldn't bother and then finally Pokemon Heart Gold version uh, which is a remake of the Golden Silvers. So you had Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That's it. And this came with like a Tamagotchi little. Come on, from down here, as you can see. Which is somewhere on my shelves, hiding away. I don't know where it is, but yeah, more Pokemon games and I'll reach down here. That's how I really set up well for this video. I'm looking thinking. Oh, just look at that Pokemon Heart Gold for a second. Alright, that's a look at. Right. Look at that. So these are my Game Boy games. I hope, I don't know if you can see it through the case. So this one is a WWS Superstar. So it was just a wrestling game on the Game Boy. It wasn't that good, so wouldn't worry too much about that one. Uh, this also wasn't a good game. This was very hard, this one. Uh, this is Bart Simpson. Escape from Camp Deadly. Uh, if I remember, it's a platformer. That's not great either. Another not great game. Uh, which I have. Star Trek. Yeah, 
actually exist. Right. A game that was alright, though. Bye bye. It was a platformer. Yeah, it was fine from what I remember. It's been a while since I played it, but. This one is definitely a good platform. One of the best platformers on the system. That was Wario Land. The first. Was the first appearance of Wario, I think? Uh, Say if you like your classic platforming games and you play the Game Boy, uh, do not miss out on this one. Fantastic. And if you can play Super Mario World 2, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, because that's an excellent one as well. But before that, you had Super Mario Land. Come on. There we go. Mario and all his glory transported onto the Game Boy. Won't go wrong. Another platformer from back in the day, if anybody remembers this one. Venture Island. Come on. There we go. So basically you played as a caveman and you went on a skateboard. You can jump on a skateboard at some points. I would say most of these are just nice simple fun. Apart from this one. Come on, focus. So this is Bill and Ted's excellent adventure on the Game Boy. Uh, another platform, but actually see it was done by LGN in the bottom there. And if you know anything about LGN, uh, not the best games company in the world, but they made that. So moving on to uh, DC now. Well, now I think this is a platformer. I know it's not a very good game. Come on, focus. The Flash. That's right, you played the high speedster in this game. Don't remember much of it. I probably didn't have a good time. And then... Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Um, I literally cannot remember anything about this game at all. Most probably another platformer. Wait, was this the one where you were in the uh, hotel and you had to jump over vacuums and all that? Or was that on the snares? Can't fully remember. Couldn't have kept my interest for that long. And then we got a classic puzzler, Tetris. One of the best puzzle games out there. With one of the best soundtracks as well. And then another puzzle game. Oh, come on. Puzzle challenge. So this is one of those match free things. Match the blocks, they disappear, level falls down, very fun. The N64 version was very good as well. And then Lemmings, of course. There we are, everybody knows what Lemmings is. You controlled a bunch of Lemmings and you had to get them through the door safely. And then, I've mentioned it so many times in my different videos, uh, a series I fully like. Jurassic Park. Um... I can't remember which. This is the top down one, I think, uh, where you go around and you had to collect eggs from each compound and then uh, shoot stuff. I remember it being fun. I can remember it being fun. I can never remember the details. And so, uh, yeah, that's it for my collection. Just quick look around here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Perfect holiday. I don't think that's all the games. I know that's not all the games I've got. Um, yes. And the boxes have been destroyed by now, but the last ones to look at quickly. Some GBA games, uh, Super Mario Advance. And more Jurassic Park 3, Dino Attack. And I can tell you, this is not a very good game. Hey, not though. But for a fact, I... Of course, for anybody who doesn't know, this is the Game Boy. This out. If you have... Come on, focus. Well, it's the Lost World Jurassic Park as well. So I do have that for the Game Boy. Which, as you can see, was the last game I played in there. It wasn't too long ago. I've only bought it recently. Uh, but yeah. That was a quick look. Uh, well, I say quick look. Half an hour. Uh, at the games I've got. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. I've been Dark Wolfheart. And I will see you again next time. Goodbye.